means he needs to stay the longest. So, but I was thinking about that. Sometimes you go to a restaurant and some, some nice person, not very many of them left, but they'll open the door as you come in or as you go out. Yeah. But there's coming a day. Mm -hmm. You know, even we have troubles and sorrows and things happen to us. And we go to the funeral home. Brother Brad, on the way there, we know what we're in for. And see, we don't make much of a hurry to get there. But nearly every time, very few times, by the time I ever went to a funeral home, I had to open the door for myself. There's always some, it was Brother Sparks' job at one time. Open that door and try as much as you can to be light about the situation and, and cause the feeling to be better, you know, and help folks out. There's coming today, Sister Marcia. There's going to be some gates swing over. Come on, son. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be nothing like that funeral home. <laughs> Matter of fact, Sister Minnie, when we have fought the fight, we've kept the faith, and we've stood before him already, he has told us to enter in. I'm going to tell you something. It ain't going to be like that funeral home. I just about guarantee you when you see those gates, if you, if you, if you, I don't know how you could just walk through them. How could you just walk through them? I believe something's going to happen to us. We're going to get excited by it. Matter of fact, we might just leave the ground just a little bit. We're going to fly Because somebody is opening the home gates for us. It's not a funeral home. It's home. It's heaven. It's a place. Oh, hallelujah. I, I want to go on too. Can we just lift your hands all over the house and watch the hill for the liberty that we feel today? sure that was it and the comical train coming through he's told me that before and every time he tells me I get a visual of those folks really thinking not knowing not expecting didn't know anything I mean probably I would have done the same thing even now nobody telling me what was going on at 1 30 in the morning you know but that tells you that constantly on their minds. Constantly. Yes, God. People like that, the very first thing they thought of when they got up was, it could be today. When, when, when they went to bed at night, it was, it could be in the night. So I ain't no wonder they's laying in bed at 1.30 in the morning and the train come to rumbling and a blowing that whistle. They, they probably did jump right straight up, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was that day. Yeah. But the problem with it is, I remember how I was taught. My grandpa, I can take it to the church. It looks different. I pastored it for a little while myself. Attempted to. But back when I was just a boy, a little old bitty place, they didn't even have the, the restrooms were outside in a block building, and, and and no water fountain. It was a water cooler. Young folks said they would die if they had to go to church like that. No padded pews. Uh -uh. The carpet was ugly green and threadbare. It was pitiful. I didn't realize how 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 primitive it was. Oh man! But there was a piano set on this side, and we didn't have drums. Not because we didn't believe in them. We just didn't have them. And, and, and there's a man played electric guitar in this corner, and I think we might have had a bass guitar. I'm not real sure. Just a little boy going there. And, and we'd have church. Yeah. My mother would sit over there, and I'm telling you, when, 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 when God got a hold of her, 
you just couldn't beat me. I mean, it was like something around here. And I remember service, but my grandpa would walk back and forth mm -hmm. across that pulpit. Mm -hmm. And he would tell us that he was soon coming. Yeah. Yeah. Soon coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, it feels good in here today. Yeah. Well, I'm just as a boy, just at the age of, 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 of Brian back there, you know, I, 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 I'd say, he, he's coming. Yeah. Just as a boy, I get this little twinge of, you know, when I when I had gotten saved and I realized a little bit what it was about, six, seven years old, I guess, I get this little twinge of God could come back. Right. Right. And it's not a matter of if, it's when. Do you understand? It's when. And but what has what has destroyed that? It's just like we were talking in Sunday school this morning. What has destroyed that anticipation and that excitement, and I am not disrespecting any of these scholars that are out the roof on knowledge compared to myself. I don't even want to attempt some of that prophecy stuff. But at the same time, there's a line that some of them cross uh -huh. <coughs> yeah. that give folks a false limited time. I have some dear friends today that I love them so much. They're like fathers to me, like brothers, ever how you want to say it. But they have a problem with him coming back in time. Just like he said this morning. They cannot understand. This has got to, this has got to happen. This has got to happen. This has got to happen. For all of my life, I've been taught he could come at any time. And, 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 and this, the reason that folks have lost the expectancy is because some of this prophecy and some of this teaching that's been taught that this does have to happen, this does right. happen. You know, for a long time it was, well, he can't come back until the red heifer's bred. That red heifer's been bred so many times, Pure, they got a whole herd of them over now. Right. They do. They got enough to, to sacrifice as many as they want. Uh -huh. All that's past and end, come. Well, this has got to happen. That's, I said, do you realize it can happen yeah. just like that? Right. All of it can happen just yeah. like that. Right. By the moment you blink your eye, it can happen, and we don't even know about it. Here it comes. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still excited about him coming. Yeah. Right. About him coming. Yes, amen. Them gates. Yes. Swing it up. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can you get around that just for a minute? Hallelujah. Just for a minute. Hallelujah. I told you about that song two or three times, I think. But I, you know what? I don't even hear that song anymore. I have not heard that song in years. But they first come out with it. I say years ago, I'm getting older now. It's been years ago. And it's got a pretty good little clip to it, you know, and, 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 and I'd hear it, I'd turn it up. I'll be dancing on the tombstone. It's got a little, yeah, I like that. I like that. So I was going down the road, and I told Michelle, I like it, and I turned it up. She listened to it, she's a little bit like her dad, you know. She sat there with no expression whatsoever. Nothing. And I'm looking at her like, I like the song, but what is, what's wrong with you? It's a good song, you know, it's got that. You know. And when it was all over, I turned it down thinking, I said, what'd you think? She said, nope. I said, what? What's the matter with that song? She said, do you think that I'm going to spend my life going through life and going through trouble and going through heartache and going through sorrow, fighting the battles tooth and toenail and winning by the skin of my teeth and barely making it in? She said, when that trumpet sounds, do you think I'm going to waste my time? Dancing on my tombstone. No, no, I'm not leaving you. Woo! I said, I don't like that song anymore. I'm just going to get out of here. How about you? But we've got to live our lives ready and expecting. Hey, I used to go to school just like all the rest of you did in high school. Every once in a while, when the morale of the school would get down to zero, they'd have a pet talk in the gym. Try their best to pump the kids up. Yeah. That ain't what this is this morning. No, no, no. 
It's not what this is. Oh, Lord, it's Although the excitement level is probably about 25%. Oh, I, I want to ask you this question. I'm going to get out of the way. I, I don't need you to be up here probably. Let me ask you this. If he were to come right now, how excited would you get? We're talking how, more, how much more excited would we get if we heard him? Oh, there's the trumpet. Now what do I do? Don't worry. <laughs> you don't worry. You can jump all you want. You're not going to go. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't know the tune. I don't know the chord. I, I don't know what it's going to sound like. I don't know. But I can promise you, for the child of God that's expecting it, you don't know it. Come on. And, and, and what's so amazing about that is immediately, all of our troubles, all of our issues, Kind of feel all by myself. We go spotlight. I'm, I'm the only one in it. You know, I believe there's people. I believe there's people. You know, just people by nature are not excited people. I, I cannot identify with that at all. I can't. Some folks never get excited. They're like a. They're like a brother. Bill Houston was at time. House called fire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He gets up. That's what the story said. He gets up. What's his wife's name? Darren. Darren. He comes to her and he says, Darren, house on fire. Right. That wouldn't wake me up. <laughs> that would not wake me up. That's why I believe the trumpet is going to be something to hear. Something to behold. Something to witness. Something to... We don't have no idea how it's going to feel. Just like Michelle said, if you're not ready, it's going to strike the worst fear in your life, your heart. Oh, but to the saints of God, let's make it ready. Oh, yes, God. I'm telling you, it feels good here today. Let me let you Praise God. How about, we're not charismatic, okay? But we are Pentecostal, at least we're supposed to be. And Pentecostal people, Move around a little bit. Yeah. Supposed to. Yeah. And uh, we get loud. At least we're supposed to. It's what we're known to do. How about this morning? For as long as you feel like. And ever how you feel like doing it. How about we just worship him? I'm not going to tell you how. I'm not going to tell you to stand. I'm not going to tell you to come to the altar and kneel. I'm not going to tell you to do anything. Because that works sometimes and sometimes it don't. Then sometimes people do it just because they were asked to do it. But how about this morning doing some worship to that God that's going to open them home gates that allows us to be here right now. Right? Let's, everybody feel like doing it. Let's do it today. Let's just worship God today. God of heaven, the creator, the real God, the one true God. Let's just worship this morning.